everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> She says she doesn't want to come out because she looks like Momo, but it's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, you're going to the other <laughs> lane. What the hell? <laughs> Not clickbait, she tried to kill me. I can drive. <clears throat> yeah, drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to Cancun Juice and um and yeah, we ate and that's pretty much it. And right now we're gonna go to um what's that place called? The lab, the lab. So the lab is like a place where there's stores and stuff, and it's so nice and pretty there. Oh, yellow. <gasps> Ow! I didn't see it, so it doesn't right count. Here. Where? Look at it. Where? Right there. I don't see it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not from California and you're watching this video, look, that's In and Out. Wait, where is it? Oh, sorry. Look, that's In and Out. But I'm pretty sure everyone's from California because the only people that watch my videos are me, my close friends. <laughs> that's pretty. Like that's Phil's coffee where um Emma Chamberlain spends her like her whole day there I think and oh oh yeah that's the bus <laughs> Okay um yeah that's about it Oh yeah here it is look 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 that's Phil's coffee. The other day I was gonna try it, but their menu looks super, super weird. So I was like, nah. <laughs> so there's this bike outside of Starbucks and it has one wheel. I found it. She's making a TikTok. That's gonna be me next. Ooh, I'm gonna be TikTok famous. I'm kidding. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> All right, so we're back in her room now. Oh wait, this is the first time we're in here. All right, so we're in her room and um, it looks like there's like a bump on my head, huh? Mine too. No. My hair's just always messed up. Don't mind my hair, it's always ugly. So <laughs> I figured maybe we should do like story times, like different story times because I've known Sin for like a long time and there's been so many stories that we can talk about. So what story should we start off with first? Oh yeah, Cynthia doesn't want to come out. Well, she's gonna try to come out because she's sick right now. And she says she sounds like a man. So if you hear a man in the background, just know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk wait, about. Wait, I feel like I always have my shoulders up. I don't know why. <laughs> like a man. <laughs> so I think the first story we should talk about is that the time that you got mad at me for no reason at all. Boom! This one, she made it up. It's not real. Oh, no, you're tripping. She no, that is 100% real. Okay, let me explain. She says it wrong, but that's not how it happened. No, I say it 100% right. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, let me say it. So one time, we were just having a casual conversation, right? And she goes, you know what I thought about? I've never been mad at you. And I was like, yeah, and like that's a good thing, you know? Because like, why would you want to get mad, you know? That's so unnecessary. And she goes, that's so weird. And I'm like... I guess. <laughs> so, so she was weirded out over the fact that she's never gotten mad at me. It wasn't that I was weirded out. I just thought like, I don't know, like, I wonder how I would feel to be mad at her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that. She was like, I wonder how I would feel to, like, be mad at you. And I was like, I don't want to wonder that. Like, I'm good. And then the next day, <laughs> it's just a casual, sunny day here in California. <laughs> No, it was rainy though. It was rainy. Yeah, How do you it was remember? Like, yeah, it was rainy. Mm -hmm. I remember. Okay, so apparently it was rainy. So I arrive, and then I'm, I'm like saying hi to everyone and stuff. And um, you're there too, right? Well, no, I got mad at you from my house. <laughs> no, you no. No, I believe mean, I was there. Oh. <laughs> so I, I said hi to her, and she started like acting all weird, and I was like. I was just like, I need to go do something. I remember. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, I guess she needed to go do something. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing, yeah. She was just acting mad. Like, great actress. And then <laughs> I was like, I was weirded out because she was acting weird. And I was like, oh, what did I do? I was just breathing. How long ago was this? Like, when I was 15? Or 14? 
I think this was like probably like five years ago. Like around there. And then, so she went upstairs and like, I was like, all right. Like, I guess she's not in the mood. And then she comes back downstairs and then um, she like just ignored me throughout the whole day. And I was like, what in the world? Like, what did I do? I was just so confused. Like, I was talking to everyone else except for her. Like, she just acted all dumb. And then, um, what happened after that? Then you got mad. I got mad? Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't talking to you. Mm -hmm. You got mad because I was mad. Right, so then she started acting all mad, and I was like, what in the world? Like, what's wrong with this girl? So then I got mad because she was mad for no reason, and I was just very confused, you know? And then, um, like, like what was it? So the whole day, we just didn't talk at all, and I was like, I didn't do anything, you know? And then, how did we, like, start talking again? I just talked to you. Oh, yeah, she just talked to me out of nowhere, and I was like, what was going on? And then she just, what, what? I just said, oh, I just wanted to see how I was to be mad at you. That's the dumbest thing someone can do. <laughs> like, let me pretend to be mad at you and then just say that it was a pretend. But day. now she has a story to talk to, to talk about to everyone. To talk to, to, to <laughs> she tells everybody. Oops, sorry. I don't tell everybody. Yeah, you do. You I always don't. bring the story up. Because it's funny and dumb. That's probably the only time that something has happened between us. Literally. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So th there's this one funny thing. Okay, we're very similar in like parts where we're like super friendly and outgoing and like we're similar in a lot of things, but one thing that is completely different is that this girl forgives everyone. Like someone can kill her, but like she <laughs> randomly comes back to life and she'll forgive that person. What? Like, I don't know if that made sense, but if you get me then Thank you. She's such a forgiving person, it bothers me. Like. Why did that bother you? Because that people, like, oh, you. like, I get that. How do you say this? Like, I get that you shouldn't be mad at someone for, like, for, like, the rest of your life, you know? I don't hold grudges. No, you don't get that because you do. <gasps> no, I know, you but I get, grudges. but I'm talking <laughs> for you. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's, like, she doesn't hold grudges. And because honestly, I feel like that makes you a miserable person. And I like being out there and happy. Yeah. Dude, this is so weird because I'm like the only one that comes out. And you're just Hi. <laughs> so her friends can be like super shady to her. Like screw her over like probably a hundred times. And like she'll forgive them. And like don't get me wrong. Like that's a good thing to do. But it's just like. You're making me sound so stupid. I hate you. No, it's just like sometimes there's been like times where they like do something so bad and you like forgive them. You, you get like it? it got to the point where I tell her about something and I'll be like, that's what happened. And I'll tell her, she'll be like, well, we'll see you with them like in two weeks. Yeah, but you'll forgive me. You forgive him and you'll be good. But am I lying? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that yeah, is that, so that's true. Like that but yeah, that's just something that like <laughs> bothers me. Because you, like, you don't deserve those friends in your life because... Oh, she's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they've done things that, like, no I friend should though. do, you but, know? Yeah. And, like, you, like, go and forgive them. And it's kind of like, no, they're toxic. Kick them out of your life. But on, like, my side, I'm the type of person who, like, if you do something to me, like, I take it to heart and, like, I probably won't forgive Even you. Even if you do something to her friends... Yeah, oh my god. If you god. do something to her friends, you're done. She's done with you. Yeah. Especially with guys. Like, when a, when a guy, like, ruins that relationship with one of my friends, like, I get so mad at the guy, and, like, I never want to see him again. Depends on how I end it. Yeah, it depends how... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I never want to see them again in my whole entire life, because I'm like, girl, I mean, guy, man, boy, boy, boy you had, like a diamond in front of you and you let that go and you messed up my friend and you don't deserve her so I don't like A it. diamond that gave you a million chances. Yeah. So I feel like I'm a really overprotective friend. Yeah, she is. I agree. Yeah. She is. That's that's a good thing because I'm a caring person. That's good. There's some situations where like I forget. You know what I'm gonna do here? Hold on. You know what I'm doing right here? I'm gonna put a Momo picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that like I forget but the they thing about forget. her is that she doesn't forgive at all, like... Unless, like, you want to buy me a whole car, I mean, you know, bring me Drake to my it's house. It's good for her, like, how she doesn't like forgiving. It would be good if she would, like, not forgive. But, I mean, she would forgive and just never talk to them again. Because it's bad to not forgive people and just keep that anger in you. Because you're never supposed to keep anger in you. So you're just supposed to let things go and forgive and just move past it. And she chooses not to forgive and just stay mad. So if she sees a person, she'll get, like, heated... Yeah. 
and that's bad. Like that's why me, I forgive and she, if I see that person, I'm chilling. Like the things that that you know that have happened to me, like with friends and stuff, it's only probably been like two. Cause I hate drama. Like I hate it with a passion. Like I feel like there's like drama so unnecessary and and you know and like the things the the people that I'm mad at like right now and like I feel like I can never be friends with again. They're like for valid reasons so. Oh, just depends the level of it. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't, like, I'm not going to be mad at someone just because, like, something small, you know, like, the, like this exactly. certain person, like, it was a huge thing, that, which, I never did anything wrong, mm -hmm. like, on God, I swear, but, like, I, don't, I also don't want to say, like, go oh, on perfect and I, I don't do anything wrong, like, there is times that I mess up, you know? Oh, yeah, biggest crybaby you ever meet in your life, but she's such a crybaby. Such a crybaby. You could talk about like something sad and she'd be like, ah, my other water. I've always been like That's that. That's exactly though. what she does. Ah, my other water. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, when we're in the car and we're like talking about something deep or like. Which we always are. Yeah. Like, oh, or, or like I'll just see something. I'll be like, like I'll be talking about it and I'll be like, you see my eyes? <laughs> I think you cried already. <laughs> but I am. Like, I'm a really emotional person when it comes. I'll cry over anything, to be honest. So by me saying that I like, like I hold grudges and stuff and like talking about that subject again, like I'm not saying that like I get mad at everyone because it's so hard to make me mad oh, and yeah. like I never have problems with anyone. But like, see the the reason why I feel I like think that's why you get so that, much that exactly that's why I get so much anger towards like a certain thing. Because she's because the nicest person ever. Thank you. Literally, Thank like you. she's so nice. So if you if people do f her up. That's why she gets so much anger because yeah, because I'm like not a person that deserves that. Are you crying? Cry. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be dumb to screw her over because she's the nicest person ever, and like we just said, she cares so much about her friends. So if you're her friend and you just turn your back on her, that's probably why she gets like super angry. Because I mean, that's why she gets so much anger towards Thank the person yeah. because she's so nice to people and she doesn't deserve that. Wow. That touched my heart. Don't cry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I'm crying. <laughs> dude, look at my eyes. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's probably the nicest thing you've ever said to me because you always say that every time. Because, because you always bully me. <laughs> it's sarcastic and funny. I'm funny. Wow. My heart. Just kidding. <laughs> Wait, my heart. <laughs> so now it's the time of the video where we give advice. For today's topic, I'm just kidding. So we're gonna talk about fake friends. Those Ooh. are scary. Ooh. <laughs> so fake friends, fake friends, they're they're bad. They're bad. We basically already talked about it, but yeah. Oh, oh, here's one. Make it a YouTube channel. Even though I don't have like you know a thousand subscribers, like I barely have like twenty. But making a YouTube channel made me realize who are my real friends, and I don't have many. Ooh. What I mean by that is that like. The people that I thought that would be there for me, kind of, like, they're nowhere to be found. When it comes to, like, supporting me and stuff. Do you get what I'm trying do, do, yeah, do you yeah. get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and, um, like, it hurts. It does hurt, but can't do anything about it. It's just that I've realized who's a real one and who's not. Ooh. <laughs> that got so deep, I almost started crying. My eyes. <laughs> The thing I need to learn is that even though people are fake, it's good to forgive but never let them back into your life. Because letting them back into your life is giving them another opportunity to do it all over again. Um, fake friends don't like to see you grow, so therefore Ooh. they won't support you in anything that you're doing. In anything that you're doing. It's not even just a YouTube channel, just literally anything. And But once you get the success that they thought you would never get to, they want to come back into your life and always say yeah. that they've been there for you. Because and they'll show like that one time they have been or that one time they like, supported you. Yeah, screenshots of like one time when they were with you through, through everything. That's Ooh. tough, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the sad reality. Mm -hmm. You know what? <clears throat> what I hate about some people? Mm. Not hate, that's a strong word, but, um, yeah. but when, like, let's say that, that, like, there's this person that we both know, but I get along with them good, but you don't, mm -hmm. and then you convince me to dislike them. That's bad. I, 
I don't like that at all. Because it's bad. like, I, I can't be mad at someone for no reason, you know? Like, I know they did something bad to you, but, it, but like, it depends on the situation, yeah. though. Like, but there's some people that will get mad, like, because I talk to that person, you know? But there's this um, type of, like... Cause it depends on the thing they did. Yeah, it's it because it's like if someone like yeah. f you up, like screws you over, like really, really bad, mm -hmm. in a way that like, and they're my friend too. And then I'm just thinking in the back of my head, like it's not just because if, if they screwed you over, I'm stop talking to them. Just that I'ma think like, damn, like this really how she is. Like mm -hmm. that's how she really is. And if she did it to someone that she was close to, what makes me think she's gonna do it to me? Yeah, but so it just depends. But like someone can't convince you to yeah, not to talk to that like person. It comes. It has to come out of you, like. I don't like the way she is, so that's why I'm not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna do it because the other person told you, like, oh, you know what? I don't like her, so like, don't, don't talk to her. her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find that really messed up because something happened between you guys, but nothing happened between mm -hmm. us. So there's no reason for me to dislike that person for no reason. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people that are like, don't talk to her. You know, well, and it hasn't happened to me, but I've seen other people, mm -hmm. and it's like messed up because you shouldn't dislike someone for no reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was part of our. I felt like it was a mukbang, but like without food. Because we already ate everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we ate everything. Our, we ate again, by the way. But that was like our little, just our story times. Oh, yeah, there were story times. Yeah. So, oh, this is my speaker, by the way. <laughs> it's a dog. But, um, yeah, that was our little story times and our little segment of advice for you guys. So just be careful who you surround yourself with. Yes, be very careful. And it was like all over the place, but um just keep up with us. Just keep up with us. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is her little sister is gonna teach me how to make a TikTok. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I try to no. convince her not to, but there she, she wants to, so no oh, you girl know. has been waiting for like the past hour. <laughs> She's just sitting there waiting for her turn to shine. <laughs> no, no, I, I just like I even downloaded the TikTok app because I just wanna know what it's like to make a TikTok. Yeah. There's so many people who become successful out and of that. And everyone doesn't. We just wonder, like, how and, like, like what's the point? Is it fun? Yeah, like, what's, yeah, yeah. like what's the you whole... You get addicted to it. You get addicted to it. Oh, it's too. a drug. Take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drug. Never mind. I won't be doing that. You're a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be showing me how to make a TikTok. So this part of the video is going to be very, very cringy. But hope you keep up with... My Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> so this is Eileen, the little girl that's gonna be helping me make a TikTok. So, how old are you? You have great. Good to know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I downloaded the app and I made a whole account just to do this part of the video. So after searching for a TikTok, um, I kind of regret this now because they are all oh, super cringy. But you know what? I wanna try new things. So we ended up choosing what? Hey who? Hey Judy. Hey Julie. Hey Julie. Never mind. So we're gonna try to recreate this girl. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna try to do that one. And um, sorry in advance for how cringy this is gonna be on my part because she makes these all the time, right? So yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> You? A thousand. You have a thousand music leaks? <laughs> or TikTok? I have 300. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I regret this! <laughs> so we're finally done filming the TikTok and honestly that was so exhausting like there's so much work that you put into that congratulations um, I just want to say thank you Eileen for helping me make my first TikTok um here's a TikTok that we both filmed yeah. hey Julie heard you got that drip 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 yes something for my wrist 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 paparazzi sound like click 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 Nikon I'm my icon like Will Smith kid yeah me so I um Ooh. that was a cringy TikTok that took us like 30 minutes to do but we ended up choosing the first one that we ever did. Because it came out good. Because huh? you, you're difficult. Ooh. But yeah, that was our cringy TikTok that we did today. I hope you enjoyed this video that was filled with so many random things. Like a little vlog to the lab, to story times, to making TikToks. Um, to being with me. Duh, I mean, that was the best part of the video. I know. Your sister? 
whack. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back for the next video. And um, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I'll see you guys next. Ooh, are you good? <laughs> I'll you see good? you guys next.